Welcome back to Frontline News. I'm Sasha Lee Hamilton. It's now time for Frontline Business. One business consultant says there's more work to be done in order for Jamaica to outline and achieve improvements. This despite the country's improved ranking in the World Bank's Doing Business report. Gabriel Thompson tells us more. In the World Bank's 2020 Doing Business report released last week, Jamaica is ranked at 71 out of 190 countries, moving from its 75th position in 2019. Speaking Sunday on RJR's review program That's a Wrap, business consultant Chris Stokes outlined some issues he believes Jamaica must address. I find it very hard to believe that a commission of nine very distinguished persons are unable to make a proper review in a couple of weeks and identify these very basic issues and give them to us rather than coming back with different issues. But the issue today is that our list of colors are too long and we should not include new colors and we need to make sure that the new logo we have only has the colors that are in the list and these kind of little things which could have all been resolved in a matter of a week. Jamaica has moved up four places in the World Bank's Doing Business report after falling in the rankings for three consecutive years. Gabriel Thompson, Frontline Business. There is renewed commitment to Jamaica's business sector by luxury hotel and resort chain Rio through a multi-million dollar investment. Eight months ago, the company closed its location in Ocho Rios in order to undergo renovations. Now, Director of Sales at Rio Jamaica, Nierka Garcia Linton, says the company is looking to claw back market share with more rooms and attractions. The fact that we have not only more rooms, but that the occupancy of these new rooms have been expanded, it actually made possible that the total amount of persons that at any given time uh, can be at the hotel has increased. The, the, the total cost of the renovation is close to 85 million US dollars, which usually that would be the cost of a brand new hotel. And the fact that this is just the renovation and has, you know, this is the budget that we have for it, it only speaks not only to the investment and the, 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 the trust that we have on the destination to really have a turnaround. The hotel is slated to target specific sections of the tourism market. Meanwhile, the company has plans to close another location for renovations, this time in Montego Bay. In Monday's trading session, the JSC combined index declined by 1,197 points to close at almost 500,000. Overall market activity resulted from trading in 59 stocks, of which 31 advanced, 20 declined and 8 traded firm. The junior market index advanced by 57 points to close at just over 3,000. Stocks advanced for Blue Power Group, CAC 2000, Derriman Trading Company, Elite Diagnostic and Express Catering Limited. Stocks declined for Access Financial Services, MG Packaging and Paper, Burrito Investments, Caribbean Cement and Carreras Limited. Trading firm were Berger Paints Jamaica, Caribbean Producers, Sibony Group, Dolphin Cove Limited and Kingston Wharves Limited. Wigton Wind Farm was the volume leader with over 37 million units, followed by Sagicor Select Funds with just over 2.1 million units and Radio Jamaica Limited with over 200,000 units. And oil prices eased on Monday after four days of gains as worries about weak Chinese industrial data offset hopes oil demand will rise as talks progress on a Sino-American trade deal. Global benchmark Brent crude fell 32 cents to $61.70 a barrel, while U.S. West Texas Intermediate crude fell 57 cents to settle at $56.09. And that's it for Frontline Business. I'm Sasha Lee Hamilton. Pleasant viewing.